guys, hold on guys, welcome back to Clash with Eric. Guys, we have a special guest on our Black Widow team. Joining us today, we have the number one player in the world in Clash of Clans Esports. Guys, if we actually Google the top earning players in the world, only one person can top that list. If we pull up the top earning players in Clash of Clans Esports, Lenade tops the list as the highest earning Clash of Clans player in the world, having come in first and second place in the World Championship of Clash of Clans. So guys, we're going to be diving into this war here. We're going to start at the top of the lines. We're going to get everybody on voice, and we're going to work our way up. We're on timed attack, so all the attacks will be staggered out. So we get to see a little bit of everything here and uh, get everybody involved. So it's going to be a time. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget... To use code Eric, and uh, as Armstead just pointed out up in the top there, spoiler: Eric one stars and disappoints Lenade. And oh man, this is the semifinals, by the way. So single elimination. There's only one more round to go through till we reach the grand finals. Kicking off the semifinals of the Black Widow tournament. Here we go. Starting in with Town Hall Nine. Gonna zap out the Queen. Gonna form a little bit of a funnel here. And then he's gonna charge in the heroes with a golem. Looks like the king is gonna get funneled by the wizards there, but the wizards find a Tesla. He does get the wall break and he will enter the base. Now the king will go south and then in. And then he can drop in the queen to join up. Now he needs to go all the way to the expo to really secure his funnel here, but he has the king split, but it's okay. He finds a Tesla farm. And that's going to be some good value for the king. He throws, he throws in one more wizard to work with the king there. He finds a hound in the CC, so it immediately pops his ability. That is a max level hound. And he doesn't want his queen to get locked onto it. Oh, she's going to get locked onto it either way. Nothing you can really do about it. Okay, okay. What do we do about that? Get the air defense down there, down. He got both air defenses, actually. So he can start his Lalo into these arch towers, but he needs to get the expo down first. Otherwise, the arch towers... Have the balloons go to the left and not up. He doesn't get it. So those balloons are going to cross in a weird pattern. Maybe a bit of an issue here. At least the hound is tanking him. He drops in another hound from the opposite side. If he can get that expo down in the middle. He's going to be alright. He's going to heal it. Really, really concentrate on the expo with the balloons that are going off path here. And see if he can still get some value out of them. But the Hounds are in a good spot to take everything on the opposite side of the base. All our defenses are down now. Down to a couple more Wizard Towers. He needs to drop in Balloons to go and take those Wizard Towers out. Or does he go to the Tesla Farm? That's a tough call. That's a tough call. Everything's going up to the Tesla Farm anyways. Are the Balloons to tank the last Wizard Tower? Yeah, he needs the, needs the Balloons to tank the last Wizard Tower. If he spreads them out a little bit there, then he can actually get the Balloons to... Have one of them get targeted by the wizard tower, another one not. But I guess the the hound will do the job there. He's gonna hold on to the last balloon there for for cleanup, and he's one for the corner hut. He's looking pretty good here, though. He's got 46 seconds. As soon as that defense goes down, he can drop the balloon on the corner hut and use it for cleanup. Good, perfect. Good heads up play right there. I should uh, collapse the cleanup in on the left side. And that should be good. That should be good. That should be a triple right there. Okay. The queen, doing a small kill squad, runs into a lava hound on defense. And slowed her down a lot. Lost a lot of value. It complicated the attacks there. But Urfan is able to recover it. And he's got the triple on the board here for the first attack of the war. Nice job. All right. Coming back at us. 69. Coming in against Sir Junior. Going with a very, very simple witch slap here. Good jump value on the initial entry of the base, but finds a big Tesla farm immediately on the left side. The golem steps right up into it. Other golems are grouped up a little bit on the center, and he drops in super wizards. Now, the super wizard chains all the way through this base are just going to tear it to shreds. The super wizards can chain to buildings that are two, build, or two 
spaces away, so pretty much every building in this base chains to all the buildings around it, which is going to make these super wizards just wreck through everything they shoot, especially inside of a rage, is it's going to one-shot everything. And look at that. Look how fast the base goes down to the super wizards. They are so insane. If you can get them, donate to you. If you can't, bowlers will do the trick there. If you don't have that, then an extra golem or more witches. Can't really go wrong with that. There's a lot of different options for this one here, but when you have the super wizards, as an option, you gotta use them. They absolutely wrecked to the base. The king breaking out the backside. And he's just uh he's just completely overwhelmed. That was smashed. But look at these uh double small bombs and a giant bomb on the outside. That is a witch trap. If the witches hit that, it is enough damage to kill them, and that can really throw off the flanks of a golem or something tanky doesn't path in front of the witches and take those down, but it's not going to slow him down here. He's going to get the triple, and 69, getting it done. Nice. job. <laughs> Easy day. Swag queen. All right, we stay even. Do the first attacks. Be. Sir Junior striking back against 69. He needs some revenge. He's not going to let somebody 69 him and just get away with it. Let's go. Okay, Eric. <laughs> why, why are you hating on my, my parade there, huh? Why are you hating Family on my parade? friendly here. Okay. It's his name, 69. That's what he does. That's what he does. All right. He's going to come Eric in with a uh, wall breaker out in front here, testing the entry. Is going to get that entry, but almost gets hit by a mortar shot. The golem will come in, and we'll see if this queen will stay to the inside here. He wants her to go all the way in and fight off the enemy queen, and she is going to go in. Perfect. Doesn't even go to the town hall, but he is right into another lava hound, which is going to definitely slow him down once again. And it's going to be a little bit of an issue, but he did get the enemy queen down before he locked onto the lava hound. And that is going to give him a pretty solid chance of making it through. He would have liked to go all the way up to the bomb tower and the cannon to secure the pathing for the Lalo. But he already used some lightning down at the bottom of the base. Looks like he got the sweeper out. And that's going to make this Lalo a lot easier as he wakes his way through. He even brought one hog. I don't know what the hog is for. But here's the problem with those defenses standing. It makes uh, the balloons path through the middle. When they weren't ready to go through the middle, they, they would have preferred to keep them all together and path around the right side of the base. They're uh, going clockwise. So those balloons that are out in front might get the arch tower, but they're going to ultimately die. And then in comes another hound in the back side. That'll take a lot of the defense. So they even catches a couple of the red bombs. But notice that he pulled the lava hound out of the base there. After a, a archer on the corner hut was uh it took out that corner hut then it drew the hound over there after the queen died the queen very unlikely in that small of a kill squad to be able to carry all the way through and get that uh, lava hound down but when he does it like that he just pulls the hound out of the way there pops the queen ability as soon as he sees that that hound has been deployed out of the enemy cc he pops his ability immediately to try to to try to Get as much value out of the queen as possible before he engages the hound. And now he's just going to keep the hound over there. Let it just chill. And he can work on the rest of the cleanup. Not dropping his hound there. He's going to heal the enemy hound there. Because it's pretty threatening. It's pretty threatening. He drops in a haste. And he'll, uh... He's just going to haste up the CC. Whatever. He's just, it's all swag there. Sir Junior crushing through that base. And we're going to stay perfect at Town Hall 9. And we will move on to Town Hall 10 after kings of war next attack live at town hall nine just get in the town hall nine is out of the way early get them dealt with hopefully no mistakes we have seen in previous stages of this tournament where town hall nines were able to get defenses and they kind of determine the war so anybody at any level can be the weakest link and you don't want to be that guy especially at the low levels We'll see if he can get done here using a little bit of lightning and then a quake to span all the way across there, taking out a handful of defenses. Now, if he can get his heroes to go in and take out the CC, the queen, and an air defense or two, that would be a really good value. It's a hound. The hound. We saw what the hound did in the previous attacks, guys. It really, really locks down that queen 
But luckily, there's not a lot of damage over here where he's fighting the Hound. So it's just going to be one Archer Tower pinging away at that Golem while the Wizard and the Queen fight the Hound down. But it's going to take them a long time to get that Max Lava Hound down. But luckily, the Queen is funneled very, very nicely here. And as soon as he moves forward, look at the Golem. The Golem actually soloed that Arch Tower. And then the king drops. He didn't want to drop the king too early. He wanted time to get the hound down so the queen can get into action here. The golem has now gone down. And he'll work his way in. Pops his king to get the enemy queen down. But he still wants to go a little bit further and get another air defense or something. He doesn't necessarily have to. He's got... What, two hounds? Two hounds and 17 blues to go to the Lalo? The hound picks up a couple black mines on its way through. So it's going to pop really, really fast. He has the max level hound out of his CC. There's actually three hounds here. Three hounds. So he'll be alright with that. But he needs to get another hound in the middle as soon as possible. And the other hound on the right side is not transferring just yet. But the queen is very, very safe over on the left side. She breaks through the wall. She's going to grab an air defense over there. And she can pop her ability and potentially get down the expo and the arch. That's going to take a lot of damage off the back side. The, the high level hound does hit a black mine. And it survives it. But they're, the hounds are going to kill the air defense. They got it down, and then they popped, and that gives them a lot of cleanup in the middle base there. He's absolutely crushed it. The queen, after she was beaten on the wall there for a little while, luckily she did it in a spot that she wasn't taking damage. She fought off the enemy hound there in a spot that she wasn't taking damage, and she was able to overcome the lava hound, blocking her way when the previous attacks there that we saw with the Zap Lalo, it just shut her down. It just shut her down, because uh, if you fight that hound while you're under damage... You're not going to get anything out of your queen. He'll pick up uh, the last bit, a little bit of the buildings here. He'll wreck in his three star. And we're going to get ready for my attack coming in at Town Hall 12 next, which is the next easiest Town Hall level when I do it. So let's go. Let's make it happen. We're going live. In three, two, one. Get it done. Make sure Warren's on ground. Gordon is on ground. Log launcher selected. Ready to roll. You're ready to pop Warren ability if there's a tornado or if heroes get locked on. Three. Four. One, two. Oh. Three, four. All right. Girls down. Let's go. This wall open and then we'll send in the heroes. Also open. Here we go. Okay, looking good. 34 first freeze. Warden could potentially. No, he's coming back. Okay, we're good. A CC pull over on the left side. Crazy in town hall. Found. Boarding. I'm going to the hound to pop and I'll poison it. You can pop King to get through the town hall quick. Got it? No, oh, that was a waste. Queen. Poison the Queen. Uh, super wizard to kill hound. Got it, got it. Uh, yeah, throw in minion top corner. Got a queen ability. I was crushed. GG. GG. Yeah. E -Z -Z. The super wizard will pick up those, uh, those uh, pops really fast. And the witches will help him get over on the right side. Left side, we're holding strong there with which is uh, overwhelming that. Queen still has our ability. Yeah, that's absolutely smashed. All right, easy day. Time Spam fail. God in action. Let's go. Let's go. Make quick work of that base. Don't time fail. <laughs> it's not no, even I close. Got over it. Yeah, it's not <laughs> yeah. Close to time fail. That was totally blown out of the water there. That was absolutely crushed. Quick, pop your queen. I did. I did. did. Got to get out with full health, you know? <laughs> easy day. Save as much time as possible. All right, here we go. They're coming in at Town Hall 10. Not skipping order up the 12s. They're going to start off with some lightning. And actually, he put lightning on both sides of the expo there. There was a, an air defense on both sides of the expo. So he put three on one side, three on the other. They quaked all in between to take down both air defenses and the expo and the other defenses in the area. Now, he can uh, set that up and go in next with... 
Wait a second, I've seen this base before. I've fought this base before. From uh, the Queen Walkers, one of the Town Hall 10 bases they gave us. Yeah. Rock literally just gave it to me today. Yeah, I, I fought this base and I failed. No, this was the one from my Town Hall 10 video the other day that I uh, <laughs> that I tried to do. It was, it was a no zap, no witch war and no siege machine war. And I tried to do a P.E.K.K.A. smash on it and my queen got stuck behind the wall and then almost came in and got a 99% at the end. So that was a lot of fun there in that video, but <laughs> we got to, yeah, this is going to be a, a quick work here for when we actually have lightning, when we have the option of siege machines, this base should just absolutely get wrecked. Look at the dragons. They're getting knocked back by the sweeper. It's taking them a long time to get through. But he has plenty of time, and they have a straight shot all the way to the threatening defenses on the other side, being the Expo, the Arch Tower, and that Multi-Inferno there. But the King is going to potentially draw some of these dragons off and distract them for a while while the Inferno is beating on. But no, the Inferno does not get into range there before he fights the uh, King. He will pop a heal spell to get him through that Multi-Inferno. The Slammer is still intact. It doesn't get affected by the heal spell, but it will drop out some balloons. And then it can haste those up and shoot through a couple arch towers, and it is absolutely wrecked here. Hey, get it done from Kings of War. Not gonna lay anything to for he doesn't wanna doesn't leave anything on the board here. Needs to get every triple that they can. Cannot afford mistakes at lower town hall levels. And uh may it look easy. May it look easy. That's definitely one thing one thing you really need to look out for, especially at Town Hall 10, is when they put an expo in between two air defenses and you can zap on both sides of that infern or that uh, expo and uh get all of them down together and it puts a big hole in the base there and sets up dragons really really nicely so maybe he just disconnected i don't know but obviously the dragons will finish it out there whether he's there or not all right weed coming in next he's got a dragon attack here coming to town hall 12 gonna use some lightning to Get the arch tower and the air defense, also the inferno. Nice setup here, simple, simple setup. He's got two more lightning and one quake that he can use to grab out another air defense, potentially some more arch towers. We'll see where he wants to use that. I would say probably this top one here because that clears up a lot of the trash in that top corner so we can easily work to its way through it. But he does find a big Tessa farm as he tries to push the slammer into the multi inferno. Does he freeze it? He probably should freeze it. There we go. Perfect. Freeze it up there. Let the balloons have a chance to work in there and get that multi inferno down. Obviously, they spotted the zap value there and tried to bait this. And he is going to get the bait. And the inferno stays standing. And the baby dragon steps up and locks onto the king instead of the inferno. Okay, can the baby dragon get it? Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Hey, I need an early... I need a ward ability here. He can go back for it. He can go back for it. He's going to get away from... Oh, no, no, he's not. I lied. The king, the best air defense of the game. Stopping him up. He'll rage up to get to the enemy queen and that inferno. As his heroes work along the outside of the base there. Does, uh, still... He's still working on that king. There's one, one dragon, dragon over on the left exactly. side. Come on, come on, dragon. Kill splash, that inferno. Yep, the the dragon kills the inferno. While it's uh, locked onto the king because he stood on top of it. That was pretty clutch. If we get the Tessa, that dragon on the left side can clear a lot on that left side and work backwards and meet the other dragons at the end. Does it get it? Yes, it does. It's barely hanging on over there. That's going to save him a lot of time, but the dragons are ripping through this base. Just got to get two more arch towers. The queen still has her ability. And this is looking good for a three star. Weed, get it done with the dragons. That's what we want, guys. Keep it perfect. And it's another fast attack once again, because if everybody triples, then, uh, once again, time will be the tiebreaker in this war. And determine which team, if uh, there is a, in the event that there's a double perfect, which there might be with uh, somebody like Lene playing on the team. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? It could happen. Mito is live at Town Hall 10. They are just moving up the line. Gonna zap out this Inferno, the Wizard Tower, and the Air Defense on both sides. And he's going to come with a log launcher opposite of the town hall. He's got witches. He'll immediately throw down some bowlers to get bowler bounces onto the mortars. But there is a little bit of a problem here. As his uh, flanks are going to be very, very weak. 
He's going to have a very minimal amount go out to the flanks, which is uh, going to make everything else go inside. Unless they split off to the storages and reinforce the flanks, the bullets on the outside die. Which is might split to the flanks there, but he does need some flank support here. And he doesn't have a lot of it. Watch these wizard towers and the arch towers on the flank. If they kill the witches out there, it can complicate this attack and make it much more difficult. The enemy, or his queen, I mean, is stuck on an enemy lava hound. And she's not going for the expos. And the expos continue to beat away at him. His uh, left flank is about to go down. Right flank is under heavy fire. It goes down even though he popped a freeze on it. The Hound has finally popped, but the Queen is getting distracted going forward after the pups. Can he still get this? The right side Expo defends. The left side goes down, but the right side is going to be a really difficult obstacle to work his way through. His Queen's going off to the left. A very small amount of troops are going off to the right. It's mostly just his tanking has split off from the rest of the group. This might go to a defense here. The Yeti dies on the left. The queen will have to lap back around, but she's, gonna, she's not going to arrive in time to save all the tanking. And she's going to have to get back inside of the base there to get that expo that survived. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can he at least attack the expo outside of the range of the archtar? If he can do that, then he has a chance. He's taking that without using his ability. He does. Look at that. Look at that. A little bit of lucking out there. Now, where does the queen go? She circles in. Don't go inside the range of the tower. Oh, she goes inside the range. Off their ability. Get to the wall. Get the arch tower down. Witch is circling around. Time could be an issue. He's got the he's got the archers. He throw he drops a bit up at the top side. We don't get it down, but she has to get through the wall here. She's got to get through a couple more defenses. She's got all of her her archers, but the witch is gonna oh the witch is gonna get the mortar down. Okay, that'll give him a chance. Twenty seconds. So slow, so slow. The queen's gonna have to go through another wall, or does she go around? Come on, queen, be smart. <laughs> go! Go! Can he make it? God. Yes, he can! He's got it! They'll stay perfect! They're gonna stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with us here. Aquidon goes down. Mito gets it done. And I don't know why I'm cheering so hard for the other team, but he's doing witches, and I love witches, so I mean, I got I gotta cheer him on there. <laughs> Alright, we stay tied. It's time for Aquidon. Here we go. Coming in with a P.E.K.K.A. Hog bat. Pekka hog bat. Oh. Aqui couldn't just come up with something simple. He couldn't just come up with the zap mess switch. He wanted to get fancy with it. And here he comes with four baby dragons, Pekkas, hogs, and bats. He runs into a lava hound on defense. And that is exactly what he did not want. The Pekkas on the top flank are really, really struggling up there. Luckily, the Queen goes to the balloon first. Now she can lock onto the enemy Queen. The, he used a wall wrecker instead of a log launcher, but that does have a bit more health and it can punch a little bit further into the base, potentially. You don't have to... It can actually... Uh, it can just take the hits there a little bit. And it'll last a lot longer to the base there than uh, a log launcher would. But he does the heal in the rage as soon as the... As soon as the bowlers come out, and that makes so they just wreck through, the queen pops the hound. She's still cleaning up pups, but she really, really needs to get that inferno down. Here comes the baby dragon circling the base. Couple hogs sniping off defenses wherever they can. The queen will be able to pop her ability, get that inferno down. If she can reach over the wall there and get that, that wizard tower as well, the bats can have free reign over the rest of the base. More baby dragons to go get the test on the bottom side, but it does hit a black mine down there. Queen will pop her ability. She'll get the wizard tower down and the bats can take the rest. Aqui, that was a fancy attack, man. That was a fancy, fancy attack. He's got it. The bats can clear out the rest there. Doesn't need the rest. He can find a storage just to freeze for the last one. And nothing is going to slow these bats down. They have a minute to carry through. He'll freeze up just to save a little bit of time. And he got a storage in the process. I mean, that's that's pretty OP right there. That's pretty OP. He needs a little bit of a split, but the, even if he doesn't get the split, the bats can cross back across the base so quickly that it's not going to be a problem, but he really needed to get the splash damage there. That's really the biggest thing that he had to worry about there. He had the freeze to take care of it if anything was left behind, but the queen getting locked up on the hound and then the P.E.K.K.A.s getting picked off by the enemy queen and the balloon that came out really, really hurt his top flank, but he ripped through, got exactly what he needed. It's close. 
But these bats are just going to tear it up. Now, bats cannot pull traps. So nothing can threaten them. The only way that the bats can die is if something else pulls a trap nearby them. And the bats just happen to be standing on top of where the trap actually is. Something else has to trigger it. But the bats can be the target. They just can't be the trigger of the trap. So there it is. With 17 seconds is left to spare. Aquidon with the triple. With a very, very funky strategy. Pekkas, hogs, baby dragons, bats, bowlers, whatever. It's a whole mess, but he's got it done. Nice job. That was fun. They're going just right up the line and going in against Alex next. He's got Zap Dragons. He had a choice there to go after the Sweeper. Or to the air defense and he decided to go for the sweepers and lead the air defenses up He could have actually got the air defenses there and let the sweepers Let's see one of the sweepers coming on the back side of one of them and gotten to three air defense. Yeah, exactly I really like that Alex. What is his base? Why are you why are you giving up so much zap value putting air defenses on both sides of your infernos? That feels like a recipe for uh, three star for them. Like this feels like a we might run this base if If lighting wasn't allowed, but there's a lot of lighting value on that one That's definitely something you always want to be looking for is air defenses next to infernos If you ever see air defenses next to infernos, you gotta be thinking dragons If you see splash damage next to infernos, you gotta be thinking witches Between those two attacks when you have siege machines allowed It can take down the majority of the bases at Town Hall 11. He's got the King and the Queen coming in the right side. The Slammer coming in the left. The Queen will pop her ability. She'll get that air defense down. And the Dragons just have to get through the other air defense. They are uh, getting softened up there a little bit. But they're hanging in there. There's a couple full health Dragons in the mix. And the Slammer is still at high health. Yeah, this is absolutely crushed. He's just got to get that last Arch Tower. The King is going to get the, the cannon over there. He might even break through that wall and get the Arch Tower down. He'll send in one Archer, one cheeky little Archer to go help the King out. Who's going to who's gonna get the uh, Arch Tower first? Is it the, is it the Archer or is it the King? I think the King's got it. <laughs> the King's got no problem. All right, so Slammer survives. Doesn't need to use the haste. He probably has balloons inside. But when you give up that much zap value, it's a recipe for dragons. And they're just going to wreck through the base like that. Nice job. Babinski, right call on that base. What's the time average look like? Oh, wow. 218 to 221. If we go to a double perfect war, time will be the tiebreaker. And it's uh, staying pretty close right now. But there's a lot of war left to be played. That can change drastically as we continue to move through. But you know what? My base is going to hold. My base is going to hold strong, guys. It's going to be really good. They're going to fail on both 12s, oh guaranteed. God, they Eric. are. They're going to they're gonna fail on my base. They're going to fail on weed. We're going to hold the line. We won't let them through. Eric, you're going to see my I... base, and you're just going to be like, oh my God, this is that base that is completely unbreakable, and there's oh no way God. that this it's is going that to go through. Witch base that everybody just destroys with witches. <laughs> it is. And yeah. they're going to fail it. They're going to fail it. I changed the traps. They're not going to make it through. Yeah, not, they they, they triple the it every other time with yeah. witches, but they're not going to yeah, make it through yeah. on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, well, we got Alex yeah. coming into Town Hall 11 for the next attack. He's got a Zap Super Archer attack, just zapping out the Eagle Artillery in the middle. Hopefully, there's no Tessus in there that's going to fill in the areas around it. Otherwise, he could have a little bit of a problem. Now, also keep an eye on the sweepers over here because the sweepers can't be re reached from the outside, and really, either can the Infernos. Can't reach the Infernos from the outside of the base. It's one tile too deep for the super witches to, or the super archers, I mean, to reach in there and grab them. I hope he thought about that. I wonder what he's going to do here. Hmm. Find out. Use his queen to charge the enemy queen. Form the funnel. Super archers are down. I guess they could use the slammer to go after that inferno. It does have to heal through. Queen will get pushed off to the left and she'll get those air sweepers down. 
Would like if he could get the walls open here and uh, get in there, but he'll send in this. There's a slammer. All right. The super archers will continuously tank the beams of the inferno to keep the healers safe. So that's good. Slammer does make it in. We'll get that inferno down. The queen needs to use a rage on the other side. He's out of spells now. He has the ward ability though. Slammer. What's the slammer going to drop out there? Here's the CC pulls. The king wrapped all the way around the base. He's got headhunters and super minions. Hogs come out of his seat. It's a soul slammer. A single headhunter goes up to the queen. Go poison up there and get it down. He had to do that to save his queen. Uh, even a single headhunter can take the queen down with their healers. i will be super, super careful about that. But the super archers can get these, these super minions down. He might want to use his ward ability right here. There it is. Perfect. We got a minute. Queen gets to the expo. Now she's safe. She can fight a wall there. Okay, he needs to go back for these uh, inside structures here. That's potentially going to cause some time issues. Needs to get the king down. Don't let the warden go. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. Got time. Let's see what I do to the archers. Archers are going to go attack the wall. Can they get through that in time? I don't think they can, right? We need to hurry up and get the witches or the, the super archers to attack a wall. He has some super archers. Okay, he's good. Back, potentially. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're attacking the wall now. They can reach everything for that compartment. Get through the wall. The ward is working on it. He's got the time. It's going to be a triple, but time is always going to be a factor here if we end up with a double perfect war. Looking good. All right. It's a triple. Alex, get it done with the super archers. I was a little bit worried about what the super archers couldn't reach there, but he handled it properly and he gets it done. Nice job. Here we go. Coming in. For the last Town Hall 11. They're just going right up the line here. He's got Zap Mass Witches. And we've seen this base a lot. We've seen this base or something very similar to it. This looks like Patel's base. That he's been running for quite a while. It is very resilient against Zap Mass Witches. And it's kind of hit or miss whether people actually get it or not. But people try it. They always seem to try it. Because they can't really find a different way to beat it. And it's a gamble. It really is. This right here could be the defense that will change the landscape of this war. Now, it's very important as he does this that he has troops go around both sides and not have everything go to the middle. But he does want his queen to go in. He's going to need the firepower of the queen. He has a lava hound that he's going to fight through first. And that's going to make so that the queen is going to get delayed for a long time. And look at this. The queen is going to follow the hound as it gets pushed to the base. The ice golem's freezing up a little bit there. The log launcher pushing deep into the base. The king will go in. The ice golems and the golems will go in. He's got some witches wrapping around the right flank, but not a lot of them. There's two going around that side. The ones on the left side, taking some fire over there. Some bombs go off. The king will stay over there and tank for them. The log launcher opens up, and then he pops the warded ability. But that doesn't protect from anything. You know? I don't think he got any value out of his ward ability right there. Okay, get that enemy queen down. Get the scatter... Or not, no scatter shot. The eagle artillery. The golems are actually in a pretty good spot for tanking right now. And he has a Yeti and the Ice Golem that came out of his uh, log launcher that are providing taken on the other side. Those witches over on the right flank are starting to dwindle down a little bit now. They, oh, they're getting some support from the inside there. That's going to keep him alive and continue moving along that flank. He's got some archers pinging at the town hall. The king still has his ability. The queen still has her ability. Looks like he found the right angle. Usually when people come in directly from 12 o'clock on this base, then this base just shuts them down but whenever they offset their angle which is generally good practice to do never you don't really want to go in with witches on a corner you want to go in on a broad side of the base like that because otherwise the uh, heroes have a higher chance of walking on you if you go into a corner so it's uh, going to be generally more beneficial to charge a, a a wide side like this and go into the middle of the side instead of going into like the top corner right there so Made the right choice there. And Yasuke takes him down with the witches. Incognito is them. And he's coming in with some zap witches as well. What angle is he want to go in at? 
He was going to come in opposite of the town hall and zap out the infernos on the top side. Now he needs some good coverage here. He needs the flanks to be strong and he needs to get the heroes to go inside of the base. If he runs into a lava hound, it's going to slow him up a lot there, but he should be able to power through it. The witches are very, very good at that. He does have all the golems going in though, and that is going to potentially be a problem. Watch that top flank. As he goes into the wizard tower up there, if he if he can't get the tank for the wizard tower, then he's going to be in trouble up there. But he does. The golem steps forward, is going to get the tank on the wizard tower, but it does turn back. The golem steps away. He's going to have to freeze it. That's his biggest threat, is that left flank there, that wizard tower over there, killing the witches on the outside. And he loses all the witches over there, but the right flank is holding really, really strong. He's got a king out there, and he's got the golems working on the inside. He's got super wizards that came out of his uh, log launcher, and that's going to really reinforce. But look at that witch. Look how much damage this uh, this super... Uh, not but the super wizard takes it down. Look how much damage that that wizard tower was doing over on that left flank. That was a big problem. But he's looking good now. He's got a golem in front of the queen. That golem will tank for her for quite a while. He's got a wizard working over at the queen as well. The king's taking for the other side. He's got a massive amount of troops on the left side. Or right side, I mean. Right side. And of course, the king will trigger the traps in front of the witches, protecting that giant pack. He pops the ability, and he's home free from here. It's going to be a triple. And we get another Town Hall 10 on the board. Easy day. Got a little bit nervous there when his top flank started to go down. But he got the reinforcement coming out of the middle. And he gets it done. Steamer. Which is that which is. All right. All perfect. We I haven't missed. Know. Nobody's missed. Guys, this is where defenses are going to happen. They're live against me. Let's get this defended. He's going to come in with super witches. He's got three super wall breakers and a jump. He's going to... Zap out three built the four buildings there with the inferno. He gets uh let's what he get an air defense. He got a wizard tower and a cannon and the inferno. So now the warden's gonna work his way forward here. And we'll see if he can get into this base. Now, this is gonna be a big defense, guys. This is gonna be He's just gonna get stopped hard. He's not gonna make it through. You'll see. Watch what happens here. Watch what happens. There's one healer. Boom. Oh, he drops in a balloon. Drops in a balloon. He gets the wall break. <laughs> Keep an eye on those healers, guys. Keep an eye on those healers. Hey, shoot that air Shoot that, uh... Oh, no. He got the... He got the... He got the black mine. He got the air defense down too early. There goes one of the black mine. He got... He got away with one of them. He got away with one. Wall breaks further in. Where's the rest of the Black Mines? Can we stop these witches up here? There's a line of Black Mines predicting this exact entry here. And I think he's not going to make it. I think he's going to get stalled up here. And he's going to fail this. The healers or something there. Well, no, it's the witches. The witches took the ego strike there. Oh, no. The witches just broke. The, the healers just got knocked to the outside. Oh he's, oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. That's a lot of damage to the middle base there without healers. He will protect the healers, though. <laughs> I don't know if the healers are going to come back. Come on, get the queen down. Get the queen down. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, big defense. This base is so incredibly burnt, but it's so incredibly good. There's the Tessa farm on the top side. He's going to have to end on it. The witches are coming back, though. They're coming back. Get the queen down. Come on. Slow him down. Slow him down. Don't let him have it. Don't let him have it. There's a giant so bomb on the hogs. Thing. Yeah. Queen's down! Queen's down! What are you saying, Carnage? He's got it, I think. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. The Tessa farm. He doesn't have time. He's got to go through multiple walls. The Super Witches are not going to get there in time. There's one down. on the top, though. Oh, there is. There is. Uh-oh. 30 seconds. No way. There's no way. He's not going to make it. It's not enough time. He doesn't have enough time. No, he's got the wall breaker. That'll get him out one wall. 20 seconds. That Tessa farm's too much. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 14 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Oh, baby. 
baby, it's a defense. I'm popping the confetti. I don't care. I hold strong. This base is so burned, and it is the first defense of the war. 97%, and we hold strong. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Oh, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. We thought about running a fresh base and we're just like, you know what? We got to run that base. It's too good. We cannot, we cannot not run it. Now, if you guys want a copy of that base, I did throw a base link for it and you can uh, pick it up there over on my uh, game on channel. Top players can't beat this town hall 12 base. That's the title of the video. Pop over there. Check it out. Drop a follow while you're there. Make a game on account. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Shameless plug. So, is live. Here we go. Coming in with Zap Dragon. Zaps out three air defenses around the base. Catches a couple archer towers while he's at it. He did not wait at all there when he jumped in the attack. Like, he... Like, he... He, he pressed attack, and... By the time we got in there... It just... Uh, he's already underway. He's already underway. He, did, he doesn't wait for that 30 seconds. I like to wait a little bit of time once they get into attack. But uh, that, I kind of got in the habit of that uh, because every time we do esports events and stuff like that, they like for us to wait a couple seconds after we start the attack to give the streamers and the uh, like ESL and stuff to get time to get into the attacks there. So it just kind of became a habit. But uh, So's not, So's, So's not going to, he's not going to slow down for anybody. He's just going to charge right in here. Dragon's coming in the left side. He's got a Lava Hound on defense. The King pulls it. Definitely didn't want that. The Queen's going to get stalled up there, but that's all right. She can... She can just do her thing over there. She's under very minimal damage. She can fight that hound off. She can pop her ability to generate some archers and get the pups down. He's got the slammer that went through the air defense over on the left side. That was the last air defense left on the base. He's got a couple of blues that he can come in at the arch tower up on the right side. There's the ward ability protecting. Wow, look at the positioning of the warden there. That is a 200 IQ warden. He found the perfect spot to stand in between the dragons, and he got every single one of them with his ability. Now he just needs blues to go snipe off that arch tower. It's tanked now. There they come. Dropping a minion up in the top side somewhere, and this base is crushed, and we say perfect. There's only one defense that has happened so far this war, and it was yours truly. Let's go. Let's get it done. <laughs> Boom. Easy day. Yeah, I mean he's got he's got plenty of time here. I'm I don't want to jinx it and call it too early, but look at the big pack of dragons coming over the right side. If he gets that ward statue down, even better. Yeah, oh he doesn't get stuck in the expo. That's he's alright. He's alright. That's just like a barrage of black mines. Like, what if all the black mines on the base were inside of this Tesla farm? And like all of the dragons died like instantly when they arrived. Oh, there goes one. Ooh, ooh there's down to hey, what if black oh, I don't want to. I shouldn't be saying that. I'm going to jinx it. I'm going to jinx it if I start saying that there's a bunch of black mines in there, right? That'll happen. That'll happen. You need to be quiet. <laughs> He's good. He's good. So, get that it done. It was a heck of a lot closer than it should have been. Yes, it was. And oh time, gosh, time may not oh, be a factor uh -oh. anymore now that we got that big defense from somebody's OP base. It's over on my game on channel. If you want a copy of it? Boom. <laughs> the new title is I Save the War. No, no. The title is Lenade is here to save the day. Because it doesn't matter what I do on defense there. When it Lenade is going to power out a triple Lenade. and then get hey, a defense of his own. Hey, Eric, can you do me a favor? Yeah, yeah, oh, no. no. Can no. you go on Twitter uh -huh. and uh, ping Lenade and tell him to show up? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you DM'd him? I DM'd him. It's been an hour. I've been calling him. And he said, I'll be there. Don't worry. And he's still not on. So, you know, <laughs> kind of giving me a heart attack. I will send him a DM on Twitter. <laughs> no way. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> all right. All title right. Lenade throws the semifinals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, sort of God. we invite Lene yeah. and he doesn't show up. That would be that would be the worst possible scenario. <laughs> alright, alright. Send him a direct message. I had right. live. There you go. Hold on, I'll send him a message in a second. Alright, here we go. Coming in. The last town hall 12. Weed said he was gonna get a defense too, and you know what? I believe that. I believe that. He's coming with dragons. He's gonna zap out two of the air defenses. And it looks like he got some 
Did he get a sweeper too? He went after the sweeper as well. Yeah, he got a sweeper. I didn't see what he got. Oh, it was the queen pad that he got there. He got the queen pad. He could have got some damage on that queen. I guess he got a little bit. But he, um, could wait for the queen to lap around there and get some damage on this while he's zapping out the uh, sweeper as well. They get some damage onto the expos and the eagle though, so I mean, that's all right. Big Tessifar pops on the left side. Yeah, I built this base against witches and super witches. Yeah. Like, We're gonna trap up the final? I'm yeah, trap that final hard? Uh, I like still it. Still triple it twice with witches. Hmm. Yeah, well, lucky. Too late for them to switch over to witches now. There we go. The queen will take the town hall. She has not pulled the CC. Or did he? Did he pull the CC yet? Now he is. Now he is. He's, uh, we're seeing those little circles come up with the board here. Maybe he'll disconnect. He hits a couple black mines there with the dragons as he makes his way in. Tons of black mines going off against the dragons. There's another one. Now he pops his ward ability, but he just took four black mines to his dragons before he popped it. And he's lagging a lot there. <laughs> I wonder if he's in a timeout. Oh, that'd be bad. That would be bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. He's lagging. He's lagging. No he's lag out. He's, he's still going. He's still going. He has one more freeze to drop. He just needs to get it down before he runs out of internet. <laughs> That's not where you want to be. That's not where you want to be. You want to be out of spells, not out of internet. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Carry through. Carry through. Oh, no. He's lagging out. Don't lag out. He's going to shoot in the inferno. Everything's going off to the right. He'll freeze Such up on the left to try to get that dragon through. He wants to get that freeze down before he lags out. <laughs> All right. Can you get this uh, clean up down? He's got some uh, minions working in the bottom corner. Super minion will pick off the archer tower, but the dragon's going to get it anyways. But he needs to get away from that inferno for now. Circle around there. He's dropping in the minions on the left side, and I feel like that's a little bit preemptive as our archer tower will turn on them. He probably would want to delay those until the other dragons are a little bit closer. But I don't know that he has his 100% yet. He still gets to get through the multi inferno, two archer towers, and mainly that expo. It's at very low health. He popped the freeze to try to get through it, and it wasn't enough. The balloons will die to the multi inferno. The dragon will die to the multi inferno, the archer tower, and he's down to just a couple, a couple troops left. Did he finally he, lag out? He lagged out, or he lagged out, or he auto exited. <laughs> well, let's see if he can carry through. Let's see if he can carry through. Gets the multi down. Gets the arch tower down. Now keep an eye on this expo. Dragon that is uh, getting locked onto is at the high health there. So they went out behind it. Can't see. Can't see. I'm clicking. There it is. Oh, they're both at high health. Oh, tornado. Hold him back. Hold him back. Oh, he gets it down. He's got it. He's got it, guys. Yeah, he got it. Weed. I thought, I thought you were gonna stop him. I thought all those black mines going off in the middle. We're gonna be. We'll shut this down. But your base is not as good as mine. That's that's the uh, that's the moral like story this, here. This base was designed completely against witches and super witches because Aqui told me they're gonna. Yeah, spam. yeah, they were just spamming so, during the blame it on Aqui. Yeah, yeah, blame it on me. Uh, but also, could you keep DMing the name? Yeah, yeah. Just you know, because. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, this man. All right, well, hopefully Lene shows up. But here we go. Hades starting us off into the Town Hall 13s. Coming in with a drag bat. We've done so well across the rest of this war. We need to hold together here at Town Hall 13. You know what would be awesome on this base here? If he did that skeleton spell trick to take out the scatter and the CC in the middle of the base there and to do a Lalo. Remember what uh, Stars was doing during the Queso Cup? That was pretty OP. He sends in a Royal Champion directly into a test farm. Drops in a couple of balloons to try to help out. But this uh, test farm's gonna hold strong. Doesn't get the Inferno. Hmm. Gonna mess up his funnel a little bit there. Would have liked that compartment to go down. Hmm. Okay, okay. We'll see what he can do with that. That, uh... Entry is a little bit trapped up there for the RC. But he can work with this. If he can push the king into that compartment, he'll super wall break the queen to go in there. But he wants the king to turn. And he does. The queen will continue up. Queen round the corner there. Go to the scatter shot. The king needs to pop his ability. Push the queen upward. And she does. She breaks up. She's going to wrap around. She'll take the scatter shot and get the enemy queen down. Pop her ability. There we go. Don't go to auto ability there. 
You could die right through it. He got the CC pull. Uses some lightning to take out the headhunter, but missed one of them. All right, the dragons can finish it off there. Ward is down. Dragons pick off the headhunter before it gets to the warden. Perfect. I'm good. Wants this uh, air defense to go down over here, but it's a uh, very low health. He can drop in an archer or something. No, he can't. Not not yet. Ugh, geez. Earthquake on the town hall. Why did he do that? Why did he do an earthquake right there? Hey, okay, one dragon splits off. Get it down. Get it down. Get it down. Oh, geez. Get archers down. Perfect. There we go. Get the archers down. Get the air defense dropped. Oh, there's so few dragons left. Where'd they all go? Come on. Okay, he's got the balloons rejoining here. Bats are moving through nicely. Scattershot's distracted onto the dragons. Bats need to finish this. Come on, Bats, are, they're onto the scatter. Oh, Red Bomb takes out a bunch of them. Get the Inferno going. Get the Inferno, get the Inferno. If the Inferno goes down, it's a triple. He got it. They're out of their defense. Let's go, Hades. Let's get it done with the Town Hall 13 triple. Now we just need Lenade to show up and not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't like that sound. We need him to show up. <laughs> <laughs> we invited the we invited the best player in the world to play on our team today, and he's not here. So <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's MIA so far in the war, and we're starting to get close to the end, oh and gosh, we need him to arrive. I was actually really close on this. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice job, Hades. Nice job. Ooh, those bats did some work. Seven seconds. For real? <laughs> All right. Hey, you know, if Lenade triples, it's a perfect war. That's if he shows up. All you doubters, that's your win con there. <laughs> Tad Jim says he, we paid him not to hit all part of the plan. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that is, this is like, this is worse suspense than the actual, like, whether he's actually going to do it. Like, we, if he shows up, he'll probably triple. Let's be real. But if he doesn't show up, then we're in trouble. We're in trouble. <laughs> Sezen yeah. is live. Here we go. Let's see if they can get it here. And then we'll see if Lenade is uh, our guest of honor arrives <laughs> before the <laughs> oh, war no. ends. Oh, geez. Please. All right. Coming in with a blimp to take out the town hall. Probably Yetis inside. Sneaky Goblins does take a little bit of scattershot fire there. But he got the Town Hall down, hit some giant bombs. He'll get the air defense, but not the Inferno. Huge. And yeah, it doesn't get that Inferno down. It's going to be a little bit of an issue here, but he is able to fight off the CC in safety up at the top. Now, Lenade is on defense now. Maybe he can get a defensive three star. That's, that's a one star, right? If he, or zero star. If he can keep them to a zero star here, then maybe we can... Maybe we can uh, win it even if Lene doesn't show up. <laughs> we'll see. All right. If we actually keep it to a one star and a two star. Mm -hmm. We could win, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, all right, let's do that. Let's do that. I mean, he's already doing a queen charge Lalo and he got the town hall down. So he's probably going to at least get a two star here. Let's be real. Let's be real. Does he get a Coco Loon down? Or is he going to lose some black, uh, lose some healer to black mines as he passes through the test farm here? The, uh, was, did he do it? No, there's a Coco Loon. Okay. Catch anything? It's not going straight forward. It's kind of taking a weird path. Watch those healers, though. There's a black mine. Yep. Also. Okay. There's another balloon. Healers are doing all right, though. He's got the heal. He's got the balloons in the right spot to protect the healers as he goes forward. Raid is up again. Super wall break to go deeper in the base here. But he's going to need the king to lap around here. Go in and get this uh, scatter shot. As the queen will continue to move along there. He's got the royal champion going directly into the single inferno. It's already weakened up so she can fight through it before it can go full beam. But he freezes it anyways. Okay. A little bit of a waste of a freeze there. But that's alright. This queen, heavy, heavy fire in the middle of the base there. She goes to ability. The king does not get the scatter shot on the right side. Lenade, his, uh, his scattershot is now targeting the Queen's healers. He freezes it up, but it's too late. The Queen's healers are down. He saw his award ability. There it is. Taking the Eagle Strikes and the Multi-Inferno. 
Let's get to the scatter shot. He's got two balloons. He can distract the scatter shot from the backside. He sends in one balloon. It's gonna come in. Does it arrive at the right time? It's early. It's so early. The RC down. The scatter shot. A major, major threat right now. He might want to use the headhunters, spread them out onto the storage over here as distraction. Here they come. Do they lock on? They do, they do. Is it enough? One. Two. Wait a second, he's out of time. <laughs> it's a time fail. I didn't even, I was, I was so concentrated onto the scatter shot that I didn't even realize that he's about to time fail. And that time fail is a 95%. I don't know if he would have made it through. I don't know, but he runs out of time. I, I completely lost track of the time there. All right, Lenade holds. Lenade holds, I hold. I guess we're MVPs as long as he shows up. Otherwise, I'm MVP. If he doesn't show up, I'm definitely the MVP, right? That's the way it works. Yeah, if he doesn't show up, then his MVP gets canceled. <laughs> Uh-oh. Their attack will go in at the five-minute mark, and Lenade has until the end of the war to attack. Oh, jeez. Wait, wait. Do I have... Am I friends with him on Discord so I can literally call his phone? The thing is, he's on Do Not Disturb for people who is not his friend. He might be his friend. So right? all of us who are not his friend, we just have DMs with him, but we don't have friend requests with him. So if you're friends with him, then you can actually call him and it will ring his phone. I am friends with him. <gasps> I'm calling him. He's calling him. Okay, I'm hanging up. I'm I... calling Lenade. Here we go. It's ringing. It's ringing. Come on, Lenade, pick up. Pick up Lenade. Pick up Lenade. It's ring. Come on. <laughs> I hope it goes to his phone. <laughs> He's not picking up. He's not picking up, guys. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, he didn't pick up. Lenade! Where are you? Should I call him again? I'll call him again. We have three minutes. Come on. Pick up, pick up, pick up. This is for the win. We need Lenade to pick up the phone. <laughs> Not picking up. Fuck, he, he came into the six pack. Oh, he didn't pick he's up. Back. He's back, he's back, he's back. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't pick no, up. No, nothing? He didn't pick up. I called him twice. Oh, no. It rang, it didn't pick up. Oh dear lord. Na 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 Hey 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 <laughs> Goodbye Oh this is a <laughs> show God damn It was a good run <laughs> Oh no It's a good run guys Oh man That's so bad That's so, The timer I'm just counted away <laughs> Uh, he's Meme. he is not picking up. Yeah. He's not picking okay, up. Okay, there's a minute right. left. Okay, there's a minute left. Time to cross your fingers, boys. <laughs> Maybe cross they don't attack. I'm telling you. Nice. Maybe they don't hit. Maybe they don't <laughs> attack. Maybe we just win. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Maybe they're playing to show up too. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Come on, come on. Come on, come on guys. Age. Come on, <laughs> guys. This guys, is. <laughs> this is this is the worst <laughs> no, no. possible way we can end our, our Black Widow tournament oh, run. We need him to show up. He's got to... <laughs> Imagine they are watching the stream and showing sportsmanship because they know Leonard won't attack. Uh, oh, they are also not attacking. Six, seven, five, oh. No! 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 DC, 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 DC. Disconnect right now. Before you. Oh, he's already got the warden down. You'll get enough percentage. <laughs> oh, great <laughs> okay, season! Lenade! What do they want, sir? If they want, sir, we win. Oh, true, true, if they true. Want, sir, we do win. It's true. All right, maybe we get a one star. Maybe we don't need. But maybe. Lenade <laughs> is somehow the clickbait title and thumbnail. And he doesn't even have to show up for us to win. Maybe that is the luck that he brings to the team, guys. Maybe. Probably not, but They're probably maybe. going right into the town hall. I they know he is. They're going right into the town hall. <laughs> he definitely is. Uh, oh, I okay. was going to say, oh, the warden? 
Yeah, go on, we're in. Go chase, go chase those uh, sneaky goblins, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, one healer is down. Hmm, okay, okay. What if he just, like... What if he just gets There's a 49% no on this base here? What if he just gets a 49%? I'd be okay with that. Uh, it's I would be okay with that. He frees the town hall, at least? All right. Come on. Give us a one star. He's climbing fast here. Oh, jeez. Gripping through. Oh, no. Well, guys. It's been a good run. But I think our Black Widow tournament comes to a close. Right here. We invited the best player in the world and he forgot to show up. Bill's bad, man. Bill's bad. All the witches are dead. The healers are dying. The queen's on her last rung here. It's a big defense. But it needed to be a bigger defense. And we go down by a couple percent and a missed attack from the best player in the world. All right, well, uh, Lenade, I was uh, telling up how you are the best player in the world, but I, I'm starting to rethink that now. <laughs> you just <laughs> lost your title. You just lost your title. I don't care. I don't care what the websites for Clash of Clans Esports say. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Rip the dream. Well, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for coming out and supporting the team. We should have had it. But we lose on percentage. GG's good run. Unfortunate. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more. Don't forget to use code ERIC. And we'll see you guys in the next one.